Hey everybody, this is Gerald with Cigar Street, and today I'm going to revisit a cigar that the first time I tried it, I just wasn't on board. However, I kept crossing paths with it, one sampler pack after another, and over time, it started to grow on me. Now, it's been some time since I've smoked this cigar, so I'm curious to see if it's still growing on me, or if it's just one that I just don't care for anymore. Which cigar am I talking about? Why, well, it's the Cinco Vegas Cash String. The cigar that I'm reviewing today is a box press torpedo. It has a very dark chocolatey brown wrapper with a slight oil sheen to it. On the wrapper, there's two bands, one at the head and one at the foot. And the bands are, these are very elegant looking bands. They have gold, burgundy, and white accents. And this is a really rich looking cigar. Um, construction wise, I don't see any issues with this stick. It's not too spongy, it's not too hard. Actually feels like a well-made cigar. And just from the appearance alone, this looks like a cigar that I would definitely enjoy smoking. All right, let's cut this sucker up and see what it's all about. This cigar has a very mild aroma. It's a very slight barnyard smell, but there's a, there's a hint of sweetness to it as well, though. And the pre-lit draw matches the aroma. It's very mild, too. I noticed a tiny hint of pepper, but it's nothing that really sticks with me. Instead, what's more of an airy, tobacco, light tobacco, or light nutty type flavor that I pick up. You know, right off the bat, I get a smooth tobacco taste. It's nothing that scrapes your tongue or anything. It's got a rich flavor, but it's not overpowering at all. It's, it's a very smooth, very good tobacco flavor. Yeah, the flavors just, they just coat your entire tongue. It's, it's, this is a great start. Okay, a few puffs later and I start picking up hints of wood and there's also the sensation of pepper on the back of my throat. I don't taste the pepper in the cigar, but I do feel not too intense, just a slight peppery bite in the back of my throat. First Retro Hell reveals a spice, but not a very strong spice, not one that, that's overpowering at all. And I almost pick up some woodsy, woodsy tones in there as well. And the Retro Hell's not too bad. It doesn't scrape through my sinuses like, like other cigars do. I'm about half inch or so into the cigar, and the predominant flavor that I pick up is mainly a wood. Now, it's not a dry wood. It's not anything that's off-putting either. And if you saw my Cinco Vegas uh, classic review, that was a very woodsy cigar to me but it was too woodsy throughout the entire stick. This one so far has a good flavor. Like I said, it's not off-putting at all, um, but we're still early into the cigar, so we'll see if it has any transitions uh, throughout. Okay, I'm getting pretty close to the end of the first third. I'm not quite there yet, but just wanna show the ash and, and how well the construction is on the cigar. It's, it's holding up quite well. The cigar tastes very good. Um, impressed with it. There's times I pick up uh, roasted wood. There's times I pick up a spice. I do not taste any pepper in the individual puffs. However, I do feel a slight accumulation still on my throat. There's at times it, it comes and goes, but I still feel it there. Retro Hell, I can definitely taste the spice more. Again, it's not scraping through my sinuses. Uh, there's a slight punch there, but very minor. Um, but I do pick up a stronger spice now in the Retro Hell than I did earlier on. But overall, I'm impressed with this stick. I, I definitely enjoy it. It's definitely one that's continuing to grow on me, and um, I'm looking forward to see what the other two thirds have to offer. Now at the very beginning of the second third, I picked up this earthy note that was very smooth. It's actually a great flavor. Kind of remind me of the smoothness of the tobacco notes from the very first few puffs. Uh, however, the flavors didn't last long. Shortly after that, the cigars transitioned into more of spice and wood. And actually, those two flavors kind of merged together. I don't just pick up a soft spice only, and I don't pick up wood at times either. I just kind of pick up both flavors at the same time. And I think the spice is what's causing that tingling sensation in the back of my throat. I don't, 
I pick up the sensation of pepper, as I've said earlier, but I don't taste the pepper. I think it's actually the spice that's creating that sensation that I'm feeling. But overall, it's still a solid cigar. I would say the woodsy spice combinations are probably my least favorite right now, but it still tastes good. Um, and I'm curious to see what it transitions into next. I picked up a couple sampler packs of the Cinco Vegas cigars, and the one I recently had was the Cinco Vegas Classic High Primings. And this is the second cigar I'm trying out of this sampler pack. I think this cigar is a much more interesting stick. This cigar has a lot more flavor variations. It's not just kind of straight wood, earth, and spice like the High Primings uh, Classic was. Now there's another classic in there. I'm gonna smoke it soon just to see if there's a difference between the High Primings version. But this cigar for me just is much more enjoyable. I do pick up the same similar flavors. I pick up woods, but at times it's roasted woods. I pick up spice, but it's not as powerful of a spice. And then there's also the earth here is more, I'd say, smoother. It's not creamy, but it is smooth. So overall, I'm definitely enjoying the cigar. I'm really impressed with it, and I'm looking forward to smoking more of these in the future. I'm getting pretty close to the final third of this stick, and the burn's holding up quite well. It's not a perfect burn, but it's not wonky either. Overall, this has been a great cigar. It transitions into a variety of different flavors. I do pick up some earth at times. I pick up the spice, so I pick up spice mixed with the wood, as I pointed out earlier. Now I'm picking up some spice picked up with the earthy notes. The earthy notes in this cigar are very good. They're very smooth. Uh, like I said, they're not creamy, but they are very smooth, and I enjoy these. Probably these, along with those initial ta tobacco notes, are probably my favorite flavors that I've picked up so far in this cigar. Retro Hale is still spice, and the spice intensity seems to increase as I progress through the stick. Now the spice kind of scrapes through my sinuses, and I can feel that scraping sensation lingering now. But what's followed by it is just earthly notes. So, very interesting stick, and it's one I'm definitely enjoying. Okay, this cigar is getting a little hot to the taste, so I'm gonna wrap up the review now. But the final third of the cigar is probably the most interesting part of the stick. It bounces between the earth, the spice, every now and then some woodsy notes as well. Overall, it's a very good cigar, and one that is a great example of why it's good to revisit cigars if you haven't had them in a while. When I first tried this, like I said earlier, I just didn't care for it. And now I have to say it's an excellent cigar. I've really enjoyed the smoke, and I do look forward to smoking them again. If you tried the cigar before, or if you've had it and you don't like it, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on the cigar. And for those of you that have tried it and didn't like it, give it another shot and let me know what you think of it. Until next time.